Yet the Prophet ﷺ told us that we will fight him and we will defeat him. And when a Dajjal with his army of Jews come to Palestine to fight the Muslims, the Muslims will gather in Damascus. This will be the center of the Muslims, their, their seat of power. And at the time of Fajr, they will prepare themselves to fight a Dajjal. This person who claimed that he was Allah. And so the Muslims will be lining up for Salat al-Fajr. Because after Salat al-Fajr, they were going to open the gates and fight them. And as they are lining up for prayer, at the white minaret in Damascus, Isa ibn Maryam, Jesus the son of Mary, alayhi salam, will come down. An angel on both of his sides and his hands upon the shoulder of these two angels. And he will come down, the Prophet even describes to us his garments that he'll be wearing yellow garments. And that his, from his head, his sweat will be dropping like, the beads of his sweat like pearls. And when he comes in Damascus, the Muslims of course are standing for prayer, they'll say, oh Prophet of Allah, lead us in prayer. And he'll say, no, your Imam is from you. So the Muslims will pray, and then they will open up the gates to go out to battle, and Isa ibn Maryam will kill the Dajjal. Will kill the Dajjal at the gates of Lod, Lud, which is a city in Israel now. And when he kills a Dajjal with his lance, he will raise it and show the blood of a Dajjal to the Muslims. And when he kills their king, the Jews will scatter. There will be disarray in their army, there will be confusion, there will be fear. So they'll begin to flee and hide. The Jews will hide behind rock and tree. The Prophet ﷺ said, On that day rock and tree will speak and will say, O oh, Abdullah, O oh, Muslim, there is a Jew behind me, come and kill him. And when the battle is over, Isa and Maryam will rule this ummah, will rule this ummah by Allah's scripture and by the sin of the Prophet ﷺ.